Welcome to the Shutdown Stories, a very special episode 10. I'm with my old broadcast partner and current news director at Station Southwest Missouri, Andrew Pitkin. Pitt, thanks for doing this, man. Good to see you. No problem, Nate. Happy to be on. So what was the job market like kind of going through a new uh, job and starting a new job, getting hired, all the onboarding in this climate that our country's in? Yeah, well, it's it's my story is kind of different because obviously there's a lot of people who have now been laid off that are looking for um, a job in a different way. But I applied for this job mid February, so if if you can even remember back that far, um, that's about when you know this was all getting started. And so, um, but but a little bit before then, really, because it was mid March when things started to get shut down. And so um, I accepted this job mid to late February. Um, And from there, I ended up um, basically just, you know, I mean, there was a lot of factors that my boss didn't see coming. Um, Obviously, none of us saw it coming. And so Mm -hmm. I was kind of hired when the job market was still at a fairly normal place. Um, When I actually started work was April 1st. I mean, it's only a month and a half difference, but it was world's different yeah. um, in terms of in terms of starting a job then and and uh, there was actually a guy at, at the radio station that I work at now that volunteered to be laid off probably saved um, the start of my job um, which is which is pretty cool we got the paycheck protection program he's back so everything's good um, but at the same time yeah I probably would have been starting a little bit delayed and so yeah it's it's been a, an interesting yeah, a little bit of an interesting ride. And um, of course, I went from a radio sales play-by-play position to a news director play-by-play position. Mm -hmm. So I would much rather be covering news in a time like this than trying to sell ads. (laughs) Yeah, definitely. I mean, the news is one of the easier things to do in the midst of all of this. So how is this affecting your day-to-day as the news director? Yeah, so um, it's it's hard to find a story that doesn't end the first line with due to COVID-19. Um, you're going to see that not nine times out of 10 at this point, but about seven. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, so most of, my, most of my day looks like coming in and checking every surrounding area, local counties, uh, health department. Um, Facebook page because that's going to be where they're going to put their new numbers um, and that's going to be the most important information for the public within our radio signal to know. Um, And so we service, uh, we're a pretty small radio station group. We service about 10 counties um, in in southwest Missouri and southeast Kansas, but it's still it's still so important. There's a lot of people who rely on us for their information. very rural area that I that I now live in but at the same time my job is is no less important I've I've already gotten um you know some some positive feedback from listeners which is which is cool to hear um just that people are already already liking what I'm doing and with people at home I've heard more than one person say yeah we turn you on at 12 30 because we got nothing else to do which you know (laughs) doesn't necessarily boost uh boost boost how I'm feeling that all but um, yeah, at the same time, I mean, it really is a very important and meaningful uh, news block from 1230 to 1245 every day um, for the people in this area. And yeah, it's it's cool to feel, I don't know, it's cool to feel important. It always is. Yeah, no, most definitely. Um, so you're not really in quarantine the same way that a lot of people around the nation are. You mentioned to me off air that uh, you guys only had one confirmed case in the county or for a really low number, better than pretty much anywhere else, basically, to get that out. What has that been like, kind of seeing all the quarantine stories and you being on the other end of the spectrum entirely? Right. Well, and working at a small market radio station, we're kind of, we're one of those protected businesses. And so, um, though we're taking a lot of precautions at work, everyone, except for the salespeople, works in office. Um, two of our on-air personalities on the country station, they just come in for their air shift and that's pretty much all they all they handle um, because we're trying to be out of the office as much as possible but for me my eight hour work day hasn't changed 
Um, so for, for me, it's actually, I've, I've been blessed to, to have this opportunity and to have accepted it um, when I did. I mean, really, really lucky um, to be in this situation. But yeah, I mean, for me, it's, it's interesting because though I, I do see so many people here taking it seriously, and that's really great. Um, but at the same time, there's, there's not a lot of confirmed cases. Obviously, we want to keep it that way. Um, mm -hmm. When I go to Walmart, I wear a mask, I wear gloves, just because I feel like that's what I should do. And I don't want to be um, the guy who gives or receives and, and you know, is on that chain. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I still take the necessary precautions. Um, and I mean, the interesting thing is the, the governor of Missouri, Mike Parson, he's the guy who shut down the state through May 4th. And so mm -hmm. to a certain extent, um, there are some, uh, you know, not sanctions, but precautions being taken in mm -hmm. Kansas City and St. Louis um, that are a little bit further, uh, a little bit more strict than ours. But we also still have a pretty strict order for the amount of cases that we're handling right mm -hmm. now. So yeah, four total confirmed cases. Three of those have recovered, um, no deaths, which is awesome, uh, mm -hmm. in Vernon County in Missouri, and only one a uh, current active case that was confirmed, I believe, last week. And so that one will have another another week or two uh, before that person is is doing better. Yeah, that's, I mean, a crazy low number. We don't see those numbers pretty much anywhere else. I mean, you're still new to the area, having just started about a month and a half ago. Do you feel like Vernon, it, Vernon County is kind of unique in – a specific way that's keeping those cases so low? Yeah, I mean, the, the county population as a whole is 20,000. And so, mm -hmm. that, you know, that's just built in social distancing in a way. Sure. And so, um, you know, it's, it's pretty easy for people to, to social, social distance as long as they're, they're given that type of order. Um, and so I, I would say that's one of the more unique reasons for, for why our number is so low is it's, it's a, it's a low population County. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Hey, there's always the benefits in that case. I mean, you're kind of reaping them right now, being able to keep your life just a little bit more normal than the rest of us. And that, that's a huge blessing. Yeah. I mean, for sure. I'm, I'm really thankful to, to have gotten this job when I did and then to be down here and then, um, just be closer to family. Uh, I was up in Minnesota and that was just um, getting to be too far away and uh, mm -hmm. a little bit of a, a change of scenery is really nice. But um, at the same time, you know, for, for those like me who were lucky enough to get a job right before everything went down, the flip side of that is I don't know anybody here hardly Yeah, uh, because I, I can't meet anybody, um, you mm -hmm. know, in a, in a legal responsible way there there are some people in my apartment complex that you know we've we've <laughs> just kind of been walking past each other and stopped from six to ten feet away and just said hey how's it going just because i think people really are craving it. this is mostly like a a single bedroom uh studio type of complex and so there's hardly an apartment with more than one resident in it and so i think when we're walking around we're just wanting community we're wanting something mm -hmm. um and you know, it's been tough because I haven't been able to, you know, find a church. I haven't been able to, to get rooted, to get planted in that way. And that's when I moved to Minnesota, that was one of the best ways for me to meet people. Um, and yeah. so to, to move without that opportunity um, to, to be in the faith community that I, that I want to be in is, is really difficult. Yeah, I, I believe that. And, uh, Keep grinding out there. I uh, love seeing how you're rising in the ranks. It's awesome. Uh, makes me proud to have been able to broadcast games to be back in college, man. Hey, you know, I learned from the best. Oh, I don't know about that. Rusty's not the best. Oh, we'll see if he actually watches now. <laughs> I was trying to talk about you, but. Uh, I appreciate it, man. Andrew, thanks for coming on the Shutdown Stories. I uh, really appreciate it. Stay safe, stay sane.